I love what I do. I love fossils, the mystery of finding a fossil and trying to figure out what this creature was doing. And it's easier for me to come into the classroom with enthusiasm, but I didn't frame what I wanted them to know in terms of these big learning objectives. When a person joins a MOOC course, they're joining a global community where you're together on a learning journey to learn about a certain topic. This course is specifically on how we walk on two legs, what is, what is the anatomy and, and the musculoskeletal mechanics required to stride around on just two legs. We describe how this specific anatomy and biomechanically works. Emus! And then we look back to the fossil record to describe how it got this way. So making a MOOC can really change the way a professor views their role in the classroom. I come to the table with content knowledge, but Adam Nemiroff comes to the table knowing more about how to deliver that in a way that's most effective pedagogically. Instructional designers help educators to create and organize approach to instruction. So the idea of that is we think about the learning experience and we think about how we can start with outcomes to figure out what we should actually do in a learning experience to begin with. And then Sawyer Broadley has this incredible eye for video. Revealing the unfortunate cause of death of this individual. It just turns these videos into, into magic. Being able to bring back from the field these experiences that you would otherwise just show a photo of or talk about makes it that much more real for students. I now have this incredible archive of film footage, of mini lectures, and of 3D scans of fossils. And all of those are transferable to the Dartmouth classroom. It's a huge team and it took us many months to go from sort of the planning stages where, where Adam and I would just meet and talk about the learning objectives and then how do we best break up these learning objectives into manageable chunks. When we were designing the course we were hoping to set up students to be able to look at bones and evidence like a paleoanthropologist would. With this project we engaged with a couple of undergraduate students on the design and development of the course. So we were working with Kelly Caputo, who was helping us with some of the 3D models, and Sarah Miller, who is a biological anthropology student, who was helping us with some of the assessments. We also worked with Ellie McNutt, a PhD student in the anthropology department, and she helped us with the development of course activities and facilitating the course. So for those students, I think it's a really amazing space for them to actually apply what they're learning in the classroom to a context that's almost like undergraduate research with a faculty member, but is a little bit different. Seeing the students and the team get excited about the project, uh, it's, it's amazing when you can take something and then figure out how to bring that into an online learning environment. And I think when MOOCs are done well, they, they ultimately do that. So I, I'm a teacher and I love students and I love interacting with students and I've, I worried to some degree about how impersonal a MOOC could be. The most satisfaction I've gotten out of this so far has been getting onto the discussion board and seeing threads of conversations happening already, talking about evolution and talking about the evolution of bipedalism. And I've jumped headfirst into these conversations and I'm answering questions and asking questions. Boy, that morning when you first get people introducing themselves in the course is this wonderful moment where that entire like process is immediately worth it.